All right, example two. Again, we're going to have to use our handy-dandy graphing calculator, and we are finding the domain range and period of each of the following functions. And like I said, we're going to have to graph these and actually take a look at what's going on in order to do that. So we also, though, can think a little bit about what's going on. You, can, you should have on your screen a calculator that's showing you what the absolute value of tangent x looks like. And if you think about it, um, your knowledge of of tangent and then you just take everything that's on below the x-axis and you flip yeah, it up. Yeah, that's it. That's what's happening. So, so you know, you got the John Travolta dance move, you know, from Saturday Night Fever. Right. Bow. Yeah. Well, now there's no negative. So, so now it's a field goal kind field of goal, situation. Field goal, yeah. So our domain is actually still going to be the domain of tangent because we still have those pesky asymptotes. They're still there. They're they, still there. They didn't go any place. And, and that's that's going to happen. Oh, here comes that 2 pi k yeah. business. The domain is all real numbers, so fancy r, but x cannot equal those asymptotes. Well, I, I believe there's an asymptote at pi over 2 because we know tangent. Right. Tangent has an asymptote at pi over 2. Right. If there's no horizontal stretch or shrink. And then every pi units after that, right. you've so got one. Right, so plus pi k, where k is an element of the integer. Ugh, I love the z. Yeah, you do. Jeez, that's one of my faves. All right, the range then. Now, if you think about this, the range on this guy is going to be a, a case where, well, we're talking about absolute value. Right. And that's what's, distance. What's the range and, of and an distance. absolute value function? It's always positive. I mean, it is. It goes from zero to positive infinity. Yeah, you got it. And it looks like it does equal zero. I concur okay. with that assessment of the situation. Right. And we already kind of talked about the period of this is still going to be pi because that's how often it's repeating. If you look between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2, you have like a U-shaped graph. And then from pi over 2 to 3 pi over 2, that same thing is happening again. So the period of this is still pi. It's still going to be pi. There, now, sometimes have have it changes. Yeah, sometimes there is something weird that, uh, like I think we'll see on this next one, that will change the period from what it what the original right. trig function is. So you just need to be aware of what could possibly happen. Absolutely. Be aware. Be Constant aware. vigilance. Wow, constant. I like it. So coming up is the sign. Now, again, use some intuition here. Right, normally we've got like a... a here to sign, but we're gonna take all those negative values and we're gonna make them positive. Did, did you just? Positive. Did you just? Hoo -loo -loo -loo? Yeah. So we've got like this. Look at the graph that's on your screen because it looks better. We've got wow. this really so bouncy thing going better. on. It's like a rabbit. It is like a rabbit. Uh. So the domain. I almost hit one this morning on my way into the oh, parking lot. Oh, that would have been sad. He did that across the parking lot. Yeah. And didn't get him. Okay, well, good for him. So the domain then is going to be the same domain that we had with the sign. Right. Which basically, you can put any number in any there. Any number you want. Yep. But now, absolute value again of range. Okay, we know it has to be positive. So sign has a range from negative 1 to 1. Right. But all those negatives are going away, so we'll be between 0 and 1. Right. If you look at your and, graph, and we can you include be able to see both that. of those endpoints on that, or yeah. both of those points. Yeah, both of those points are included. And then our this is where the period changes because the definition of period here is how long does it take before it repeats? Well, if like you, before you're repeating every, the original shape again. Right, right. Yes. So if you look where we have this this shape and then it keeps repeating and it's the same there. And so how much is it from here to here? It should be pi. Okay, That's because what I would it, say. it should be happening really twice as often because instead of having that lower part which changes the shape, it's it it's, comes back and it's right. the upper part. It's only the upper only. So you just have to pay attention. What you're looking for is how far is it between where it starts repeating. And if you set your calculator, if you zoom trig or go into your settings and you can change the interval on your x values to some sort of favorable trig function, like you can actually type in pi over four or pi over two then you can use the tick marks on your calculator to help you determine what the period uh, would be. And you can actually, I don't know if you knew this, you can actually type in to your x min and x max, negative 2 pi and 2 pi, and then it'll put those in. And then your x scale, what does it normally pick? What, pi over 2? Yeah, you can use pi over 2 or pi over 4. Yeah, five. so, and if you zoom trig, it should set it up that right. way. But if you wanted to put it in, you'd do something you do like, like that. that. Yep. Okay. i got to grab something out of Marcus's car.